What up, friends? Happy Monday. Thanks for watching Live with Lee and Haley today. It is May 20th. I'm Haley Harmon alongside the glorious Chris Goodman. That's me. I'm yes. so glad you're here today. Well, thank you. And it's so nice of you to come back from your beach vacation. Thank you so much. Thank Basking you. Basking in the sun of was, Myrtle right. Beach. By Myrtle way? Beach. Which, by the way, I heard a very interesting tidbit last week, in fact, mm -hmm. on Myrtle Beach. I did not realize Orlando's number one for tourist destinations in the country. Okay. Followed by Vegas. Uh, Myrtle Beach is number three. Is it really? Yes. It was crowded. Right. I mean, not as crowded. My older sister lives in Myrtle Beach, and that's why we went. My sister and I went on a little girls' trip to go see her, and we had so, so much fun. And it it was pretty crowded, but my sister was like, this is nothing compared to June, July, August. She was like, be glad you came in May. That's, that's what, what she crazy. said. Right. Yeah, she was like, I mean, it's like body to body. So I would believe that. I mean, it's so close. I think it's more affordable for mm -hmm. most people. Right. Um, and yeah, we just had a great time. The weather literally could not have been any better. Really? Because it was hot here, let me tell yeah, you. We needed like, a beach right here. Oh, yeah. It was 80s, sunshine, living, loving. So perfect it was for awesome. the beach. It was so wonderful. I mean, I swear, you lead so much more of an exciting life than I do. The most exciting <laughs> thing I did this weekend, I did go for an eight-mile run. Did you? Which eight miles? I used to run long distance all yeah. the time. Yeah. But so this weekend I thought, well, you know what? I'm just going to retrace the steps that I used to go. And I surprised myself because I could still go the distance. Mm -hmm. I was just a lot slower. Hey, that's okay. <laughs> than I was five that's or six okay. years ago doing that same course. Yeah. But I, I was able to finish it. Yes, so. good. Well, I may need you to get me back fit again because, of course, I was lazing it at the beach. Oh, Didn't do course. a darn thing. But, yeah, the only way I can run now is if um, I'm being chased by an assailant. So if you wouldn't <laughs> mind running after me. And I got to um, ask, did, now we're not going to give any spoilers, but did you watch Game of Thrones last no. night? No. Are you into that? Because I'm I, you not. Know, Claire Crouch is so she into is that. She is so into talking it. Talking about it all the time. And, of course, everybody's talking about it today yeah. because they had the big season finale last night. Right. And I gained respect for that show when I... I did, I mean, on cable, yeah. that show last week, I don't know what it did last night. I don't know if the ratings are in for it yet, but uh -huh. 18 million people watch, which oh for HBO, I mean, think about that, cable. Yeah, for HBO. HBO, yeah. that is a huge audience yeah. for really any network. Yes, that's so, awesome. Yeah, yeah, so many people have been talking about it today. I've seen a ton of people tweeting about it and stuff, but then I've also seen a ton of other people saying, please, no spoilers, please, no spoilers, and because some people aren't allowed to or aren't able to watch it yeah. when it's actually right. on. They watch no, it the next day. No, everybody's just like yeah. on the edge of the street. Please don't tell me anything about the show. I want to yeah. be able to see it tonight. And a lot of people are just, you know, saying the writers did mm -hmm. not do a very good job. I know at the people end are the complaining. I'm like, no, I'm like no, but anyway. Yeah, that's what I heard a lot of people saying. It, wasn't as exciting as, as they good, thought it was going to be. be. But, oh. Oh. One of my friends, uh, Macy Insko, that used mm -hmm. to be a reporter yes, here. I remember. She had tweeted, she said, um, uh, who else is excited to cancel, cancel their HBO membership in just a couple of hours? <laughs> because so many people got HBO just to watch the just show. Just to see it. And so now she was like counting like, down to canceling my membership. See, they're going to have to come yes. up with something else just as good to get people to keep watching. Yes, That's oh right. my gosh. Okay, so on today's show, we are going to be talking about a big annual celebration over over in Lawrenceburg. It's centered around the legendary Bigfoot. It's called Wild Man Days and we're going to talk about it. Also, a new restaurant that is getting ready to open up here in Lexington, Agave and Rye. It's fun to say. It is. I know that. Agave and Rye. Agave and Rye. There's one in Covington too, by the way. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Well, they're about to open their first Lexington location. They've got apparently amazing tacos. I've never eaten at an Agave and Rye and I'm pretty pumped to try the tacos oh, okay. today. Well, yeah. yes. And if they have fish tacos, I'm like, I got to dig into All those. About I love it. Like, some fish tacos. Yes. Yeah. So we're going to chat with them today and tell you when they are set to open and where their first Lexington location is going to be. So, want to do the hot topics? Let's do it right now. Let's go. And I'll tell you this first story, you may have already heard about this during Sunday's commencement. I mean, this was a this big is awesome. story. A ceremony at Morehouse College down in Atlanta. Billionaire Robert F. Smith told graduating seniors he would wipe out their student death. I mean, we're talking, you see all the students there. We're like, they talking, had to be in disbelief when he first oh said Look gosh. at that guy on the phone. I love that. He's like, guess what? <laughs> guess what? All of them paid for. Yeah. I mean, $40 million is how much they think this is going to cost yeah. to all the students. But, you know, he can, he's a billionaire. He uh -huh. can afford it. I mean, but still, he didn't have to do it. Exactly. Uh, he encouraged the new graduates to pay it forward and do something to ensure that every class has the same opportunity going forward. Smith, a Cornell alum founded Vista Equity Partners, which invest in tech companies. Forbes magazine estimates his net worth to be about $4 billion. Wow. wow. 
I mean, when I saw this, I had to read the headline like three times because I was like, 40 million? I mean, and th you know, I'm thinking 25 years ago when student yeah. loans were crazy back then. Yeah. I mean, now it's just, it's amazing to think and to think that he, I mean, what a graduation present. Yeah, you know, wow. They were probably looking forward to going and having a great graduation party, getting a few gifts. Yes. And they got and this. Then this. I mean, this is like the biggest gift of all. There's this the guy on the amazing. phone again. He's either talking to his mom or he's talking to the lender <laughs> that gave him his student loan. He's like, hey, yeah, guess, guess what? what? It's all paid for. Uh -huh. <laughs> I love it so much. But what's crazy is I read there's only like 400 or so students in this class. So when you think about it in that terms, $40 million in debt, and, and only 400 people? or so right. students. That's crazy that that's money? the kind of it debt just, students are having to go into. It adds up so quickly. It is crazy. It really, wow. Oh, my gosh. All right. Our next hot topic today, here we go. A heartwarming photo shows a firefighter in Lyon County comforting a dog by the side of the road following a deadly accident. The multi-vehicle crash happened Friday on Interstate 24. One person was killed. Another person was trapped. Our sister station in Paducah is reporting that this dog, a dog named Lucky, wouldn't leave that person's side. Fire Marshal Bill Compton comforted and cared for the dog while crews worked to get the man free from the wreck. I mean, just think about what a traumatic experience. Oh my gosh, that would yeah. be and then you know to see this and th this is why this is going viral because it's just <sighs> it's it's heartbreaking to see but yet at the same time it's just so su sweet it to is see sweet. that yeah. first responder would take the time and mm -hmm. just try to comfort the dog that was you know his owner was the one trapped mm -hmm. apparently he was just staying by his staying side by. wanting to protect him yeah. obviously didn't know what all these people were doing yeah. around the car it had been such a traumatic experience for him he just yeah. kind of pulled him away and comforted him you know him. because i mean like ems and first responders I mean, their their job is just amazing, so unfathomable, hard anyway. so yeah. hard to do. But then, you know, because this is the stuff they don't teach mm -mm. in their training. No. They don't teach, you know, because we'll, we'll see these photos like this of them with pets or with children mm -hmm. and things like that. And it's just it's innate. And they just they just are there to save your life. And that may entail, you know, medical stuff, but also this just comfort in a different oh, way and right. it's just and again that's right from our neck of the woods yes. here in Kentucky or in western Kentucky anyway yeah. in Lyon County not far from Paducah speaking of first responders this is pretty cool this California police officer makes a crazy half court shot no way caught on camera look at this <gasps> his name is officer Arius George he's with the LAPD uh, recently decided to show off his skills while patrolling the area and talking to some local kids. As you saw there, he was just casually dribbling the ball before preparing to make that epic shot from midcourt. <laughs> Look at that kid. Oh! I know, they're just in disbelief. He, it's just with such ease that he does this. Just swooshes it right into the basket behind him. That's He's awesome. got some uh, experience, by the way. He goes by the name Trick Shot Cop on okay. Instagram. Okay. And he recently showed off his skills. He was invited to join the Harlem Globetrotters in February. Oh my god! They heard about him and they wanted him to take part in their event. I love so. that. You know those kids thought, oh, here's this cop trying to be cool and exactly. hang out with us. And then and they then, see this and they're yeah. like, Will Whoa. you hang out with us like every yeah, day? Exactly. <laughs> Will you play basketball with us every day? One time when yeah. I was probably in middle school, we had a basketball goal at my house growing up and my dad had like a new camera or something and he'd set it up and he and I were like playing some basketball together. And I then I, we were trying to make backward shots. I threw probably a hundred and my dad was watching. We were like, we're never going to hit this. He turns to like walk off and, but we're both still on and camera. He, he walks it. off and I throw it backwards and it swooshes in it. and I'm freaking out and he didn't even see. And so then, thank goodness it was on camera. Cause I was like, watch the tape. And you could see him. He's like, you did not hit it. And I was like, yes, I did. Okay. You totally need yes. to show that. I know I've got to find it. You know, I hope I'm sure so he's cool. got it on his computer. I've got to find it. Cause yeah, I'm freaking out. And then of course the one time I make it, he's not watching, Right. Of but course. we had the video evidence. It's to prove it right there. Man, I turned down the Harlem Globetrotters as well. It's just, <laughs> it's just I, I, you were too busy. I'm a slave to the television. Right. I just, Absolutely. The iconic Eiffel Tower in Paris had to be evacuated this morning, local time, and shut down. A spokesperson for the landmark says someone was climbing up the tower. Further details have not been released. The tower was completed in 1889 and built to celebrate the 100th anniversary of the French Revolution. It's more than a thousand feet high and welcomes nearly seven million visitors a year. Which what a, that you were one of the seven That's million right. last year. I, I went to that. Paris for the first time last fall. Yes, and got to see it. And it's yeah, it's just 
it's crazy. If you've never been to see it, you have to go. It was just if you're if you're able to, you know, it's. It and was imagine great. just visiting there and being yeah. there, and they, they tweeted out, you know, please do not yeah. visit the Eiffel Tower right now. We've got this situation going on, and you know, and I think you know, people are on very limited time mm -hmm. when they go to Europe or just mm -hmm. go to vacation in general. Yeah, to and think, they think. Oh, I, I mean, it, the good thing the is, Tower, right? yeah, the good thing is though it's so big. Even if it's shut down, you just go one street over. You can still see you it. See <laughs> you can still see it pretty still closely. There. It's still great. there. But gosh, that's just dangerous. The people that. I mean, there are those people that like, I don't know if it's the correct term, but like free climb or yes, climb with no harnesses and stuff. Guy. Oh, yes. I just, and he's it, been arrested like count. And I think he does a lot of his in times. Paris. Yes. I think that, he climbs a lot of buildings. I was actually kind of wondering yeah. when I saw that today. I'm wondering if he had anything I wonder to do with if that. I don't him. know. Anyway. Mm. All right. Let's get to some serious news today. A Kardashian baby. Oh. Kim Kardashian <laughs> and Kanye West have named their new baby, their fourth child, Psalm. Psalm West. The reality star shared the first photo of her fourth child on Twitter and Instagram Friday along with his name. He was born last week via surrogate. West and Kardashian also parents to five-year-old North, three-year-old Saint, and 12-month-old Chicago. And uh, Chicago is one of her girls apparently and she yes. did tweet out that he is a twin of Chicago which he may not yeah. be too happy with that down the road, but you know, right now they're just babies. Yeah. And she did point out the similarities. Yes, yeah, she so. said it looks just like yeah. the older sister. Um, yeah, I, I, I just, well, I love you know babies me. no I matter mean, what. Anything, keeping up, I definitely keep up with the Kardashians. You keep so up. If you ever want to know yeah. anything about the Kardashians, you ask me yeah. and I'll be able to tell you. Uh, what's your favorite episode? Um, <laughs> anyway, let's, let's move on, shall we? Uh, did you okay. hear about this from SNL over the week? Love Actress it. Scarlett Johansson and Colin Jost are engaged. Uh, Johansson's rep confirmed the news to USA Today. The Saturday Night Live star and actress have been dating for about two years now. It's going to be Jost's first marriage. I hope I'm saying it's not. I right. think so. Colin Jost. Jost, right? I and believe so. Johansson's third marriage. She was previously wed to actor Ryan Reynolds and journalist Romaine Doriac, the father of her daughter Rose. I love him on SNL. I love him. I oh, think he is great. so funny. He's he, yeah. so funny. I yeah, love him on good. Weekend Update. I love like this is why I was such a huge Jimmy Fallon fan when he was on SNL because he would laugh so often, yes. and I just love that they when are they get so totally able yes. to just laugh at themselves. Yes. And, and, just, and he does the same thing. Uh, he gets tickled a lot during Weekend Update. Mm -hmm. You can tell he's trying so hard not to giggle, mm -hmm. and it just makes me love them. We, they're just a normal person. They, they are, are laughing too, just they're like we are. So much fun. I mean, mad respect for the other ones that can keep a straight face. But exactly. I'm like, but good for them. Congrats to the couple. And those are today hot topics and coming up whether you are a believer or a skeptic you are going to have a good time at the annual wild man day street festival that is going on i think it's the weekend after next in lawrenceburg yes they're celebrating the elusive bigfoot and all those sightings in anderson county there's a ton of great things to do at this festival we'll tell you about it next